it is good to have someone to sit beside. Late at night at the movies, when the lights have dimmed and the previews are over, and you have pegged out over a large order of popcorn, and the old woman who has lived unhappily for 21 years with a failed son and a miserable daughter-in-law takes off to return to that beautiful small town where she has always remembered herself as perfectly happy. Only to find that her one friend, the town's last citizen, has died that very morning, and that when she returns to the beautiful house that has remained unaltered in the scrapbook of her wishfulness, it is a mere ghost of what it once was. The curtains rotted against the sashes, the wood frame sagging like an old scarecrow. The neighbors' houses all abandoned by death, by storms, the vicissitudes of profit. Yes, it is good not to be alone at times like these when the woman sitting beside you this very morning seemed merely a burden, sent small sobs wafting like pollen into the theater, and squeezes your hand and says it's so sad. This movie, and you agree, yes, it is very sad, this movie, and this life in which so much we imagine as inalterable will be taken from us, in which there are so many towns where someone will die this very day. Alone and unclaimed by any of their loved ones who have all lived to marry in another country or find their fortunes in some great stricken Houston, which is why it is good to be here, even just tonight, in this dimly lit theater with a gold woman. And the scent of popcorn and a wide bed you can climb into again together as if it were the town you originally came from and you could always go back to it as if no one could ever die in the dark alone not even you